Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Vivaldi web browser for desktop, version 5.6, which started rolling out just a short while ago today, earlier on the 7th of December. Now, version 5.6 has been a long time coming and includes a couple of new features, which we will take a quick look um, for you today in this video. And if you are running um, Vivaldi on Windows, you can just head to your menu, help, check for updates and this process will force the update if it hasn't done so already in the background and if we head back to the menu help about and if I just zoom in here so you can just see it a little bit better in the video the browser now after this update has been applied is version 5.6 which is now the latest release 0.2867.36 and the Chromium platform which the browser is based on has now been upgraded to version 108 which now puts it on par with all the other Chromium-based web browsers. Now, um, there are about four or five new features, and the first is that um, the sidebar now um, integrates Vivaldi Social and also Mastodon, which um, um, basically is an open standard social media platform. Now, Vivaldi says here, um, our new desktop version, which is 5.6, arrives with Mastodon integrated into the sidebar of the browser, as mentioned. And um, Vivaldi Social also helps you to communicate with anyone on Mastodon, whether they use Vivaldi or not. So that's a nice improvement. And then sticking with Mastodon, if we just head back to the sidebar and the side panel, and we add a web panel, um, you can also now um, add any Mastodon instance of your choice as a web panel to the sidebar. And um, when you do this, the website or any Mastodon instance is displayed within the side panel of your browser, creating a split screen view. And that's just nice and an improvement if you are multitasking. So that gives you a bit of a extra choice if you want to multitask and have a split screen view. And you can also now pin tab stacks. So as an example, you can see I've got a couple of start pages and tabs open. And I'm just going to go stack tabs by hosts. And now that tab stack um, it says here, pin tab stack, and there it's go. It's pinned, and if I open up some new start pages and tabs, you can see I have my tab stack pinned now, which I also think is a nice handy improvement. And if you want to put everything back to how it was, you can just right-click on that tab stack, unpin tab stack, and then you can right-click once again and unstack tabs, and that pops everything back. So that's also a nice improvement. Now, this next improvement I actually think... Um, would be the top of my list for version 5.6 and they've revamped the settings page. Now if we head to the settings, you will see now that everything is color coded into different categories. We get two shades of orange, green, purple, blue and a pink and this just categorizes the different categories which I think is a nice handy improvement and just makes things a lot more simpler, quick and easy and your navigation a lot quicker and easy. So I'm actually quite happy about that color coding. Um, on the settings page, which I actually think is a very nice improvement for the Vivaldi web browser. And I actually wish and hope some other web browsers actually follow suit and do the same as it just makes your navigation a lot easier. Now, um, just to mention this uh, next um, update and new feature regarding the, uh, the sidebar and the side panel again. With Vivaldi 5.6, um, Vivaldi mentions you can mix default panel buttons with web panels. And you can also move extensions to the panel bar and move settings to a different toolbar. So that's also another improvement if you are using um, extensions and different web panels. And then the last one, just to mention um, in today's video, is they've added a new private search engine, um, which is called u.com. So if we head back to the settings and we just head to the search there we go, search for private Windows search engine u.com, but at this stage, it's only available in select countries. Now, I'm not one of those countries, so I'm not seeing it, but apparently u.com, and that's um, added to your list of integrated default search engines for the, and if we head to file, that's for the private window. So you can also use your private window now with the u.com search engine, which just gives you a little bit more choice if you are doing some private browsing. And then over and above that, um, those have new features which I've just highlighted for you quickly in this video. The change log from version 5.5 to 5.6 is extensive and there are numerous improvements, bug fixes and add-ons and upgrades and so if you have experienced any issues in the browser just make sure it's up to date as, as mentioned on all the different platforms, Windows, 
uh, Linux and Mac OS. Vivaldi has rolled out numerous improvements and bug fixes to a whole lot of different aspects of the browser. So if you have experienced any issues, just double check, as mentioned, that your browser is up to date. So that's it. Version 5.6 has now finally arrived, which rolled out a little bit earlier today on the 7th of December 2022. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.